So where it started is, I still remember and Nev still remembers the first day he walked in with his catalogues in hand. And then from that moment onwards, we kind of built quite a brilliant friendship. Non-destructive testing is crucial in the safety of planes, trains and automobiles. So we're here at NDT to learn more. So NDT stands for non-destructive testing. It's basically testing material is up to standard for what it's useful, whether that be a part for your plane or in construction of a bridge or even in the motorsport where now they're understanding that if the material isn't quite good enough, it can fail and they can lose a race form it. So this has a, a 1.5 mil hole in, which to us is, that's quite a large hole. We're going down to 0.2 of a mil, so 0.34 into not just aluminium or soft materials like that. We've done 0.2 into 174 pH. So quite a hard still, two mil deep. And then even then using the Ceratizic blue line, the micro tools to flat bottom means we send we have had sent out to be ct scanned to confirm that they're flat because you can't really see inside the point two hole there's not really a way of inspecting it so the micro range from ceratizic has been phenomenal and gives a real good confidence that when we've got a free issue bit of material from a customer it requires a 0.8 hole in we've only got one chance we know that this 0.8 tools will be able to do it so it's not just me as part of this company, as K2 set it up with me nearly three years ago and her input has been outstanding and the support has been incredible. Without her, I don't think we would ever have been where we are because you need that, even though there's us out here making the parts, you need that person in the background helping support and keep things going in the direction they need to, keep things organised. <laughs> So we've been doing this three years, so 2019, um, joined a company called NDT um, as a general manager. So it was more the people side of things, customer side of things, um, organisation, all that sort of stuff. Um, Jan, Dan then joined um, about six months later um, and we just got on really well. You could just tell he's just quite an organised person. We just identified a bit of a gap in the market, basically. It was kind of slow deliveries, all that sort of stuff. Um, so yeah, we just saw the opportunity to maybe start and do it ourselves. With Ceratizic, the supply chain is so good with them that we have won their vending machines. Um, so that we, if we need a tool, we can get it straight away, but it's also when it's a an exotic material and we've not got one in the vending machine or we've got one that's a bit used but we know we get it next day i mean i've even had them they've delivered a tool from sheffield same day before for us so that's where you're only as good as your supply chain and their supply chain is so uh, good that we're never really without uh, at all serotizic to us means that we get not just good tools that are always reliable, up to high quality, but the technical support you get is a full package. It's not just they're going to sell you a free M mills that they're reselling to somebody else. They're selling you their own product, and along with all the work holding, the voice setups, it's there's there's everything there, and you know you can contact you them even at our five on a Friday and they're not trying to get home and start the weekend, then you know, take the time and effort to help you, which I don't think many of, I don't know, it's, that, that is what we've experienced from day one to now has not been any different. 